The EA Sports FC team of the season is here. Each Friday over the next few weeks, there'll be a team of the season teams released across all major leagues, Joe. And this week, they've kicked it off with the Premier League and the Women's Super League. Yeah, today we're going to be revealing the WSL mm. team of the season, getting our guest thoughts as we go. A reminder, this is done on Expert Picks and Opta yeah. Stats. Should we start with the keeper then? Yes. Good. And this, this is, is controversial. This is a pleasant surprise for me mm. yeah. because naturally, team of the season, you'd expect to see England's number one. Yeah. Mary and the one that's yeah. had all the headlines in recent times. But Kiara Keaton has been stealing the headlines yeah. this season for stepping into this Man City squad at a young age and just being one of the best keepers in the league. She's mm. about to save the game she had against Arsenal where she saved the penalty. And it wasn't her best game, but that's where she really made her name. Most clean sheets, yeah. best save percentage. I think she's overperforming her expected goals by like nine, yeah. eight or nine. It's, it's a big shout, but at 19 years old to be coming in and doing that, like you just, you've got to give her all the credit in the world to be keeping in this conversation, someone like Mary Earps, who is obviously England's number one mm. in incredible player. For, for her to be the pick, that's huge. Also, Hannah Hampton, who's also had a great season. Yeah, yeah so, interesting you say that. She overformed XG by 8.7, as Joe said, which is the best of any WSL keeper. Hannah Hampton is next yes. uh, on plus 3.2. So, honourable mentions to Hannah Hampton and to Mary Earps as well. Uh, but Keating takes it. So, let's reveal the defenders that we've got on the list. OK, oh, stick them out. Neve Charles. Yes. Is there two magnets there? You might have two magnets. Oh, let's oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. hiding magnets it's not away. Sticking. It's Sorry. Difficult with, it's difficult with your nails. I know, I was well. about to say that. <laughs> that. Don't worry. So we've got Neve Charles. Neve Charles. Katie McCabe. Katie McCabe, yeah. yeah. Alongside her. I mean, Katie McCabe and, and just another incredible season. Mm. Like, leader yeah, of all defenders mm. in the WSL for chances created. The things she's doing, just exceptional. Both yeah. featured on our show recently as well. Neve mm. Charles, Katie McCabe. What's yeah, Robin Moy and. Alex Green. Oh, oh, oh Alex Green. Green. Honestly, Green. your Green. season of magnets on the board Shut have been a disgrace today. Abby, do you want to take over? <laughs> on that side. Compose yeah. herself. Yeah. Uh, your, your thoughts on those initial selections? Yeah, I can't, I can't argue with any of them. I mm. mean, from covering and watching Arsenal, for me, Kate McCabe and Ruben Moy have been yeah. brilliant up there. You know, def defensively solid all round for yeah. Arsenal this year on both sides. Um, Alex Greenwood. She's just what a hero she a is. A metronome again, yeah. classic one. Just, like, on uh, the ball, yeah. yeah. Um, and also like just unbelievable in any in any opportunity she's given, whether that's on the international stage, England for yeah. for mm. City, like unreal. And also, you know, Neve Charles and what, what they're doing at Chelsea. I know that they they thought they were going to win it all, but um, champions champ 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 potential to win still some, win, yeah, still can and win a few things. I love that Neve Charles is really making a name for herself this season, mm. um, stepping in to this Chelsea squad as a full on starter yeah. in the first team and. Adding some goals and assists to her game as well, so that's yeah. it's always great for a defender to do that, such as Kate, um, Kate McCabe has done in previous seasons. And we've been this season, well, some some yeah. very important goals for it, Arsenal. You know what? It bodes really well though from an England standpoint as well. If you yeah. look, you've got you know there's three, there's three plus mm. Ki Kiara yeah. Keaton, so that looks really good. And um, I feel like we've always been so reliant on like Leah Williamson, you know, on an Arsenal mm. perspective, yeah. and also internationally. <laughs> so you know, having these options of bringing in Ruben Moy, Greenwood. Charles, like. Yeah, you, you mentioned Eve Charles there as well, and, and you're right. One goal, five assists in the WSL this season. Only Lauren Hemp has more WSL assists. Most successful duels, possession one for Chelsea, so Pretty quite rightly cool. deserves to be on there yeah. alongside the other three names. And so, so consistent. I feel like Neve has been very consistent this season. Mm. So Into midfielders. midfielders. Let's go yes. to midfielders, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is interesting because some of the players are lifted yeah. midfielders, some listed as forwards, yeah. so bear with us because, yeah. you know, this is an interesting one. Only two players listed as midfielders. Okay. The yeah. rest are coming. They are coming. They are coming, coming yeah. They're not, yeah. not just ignoring them, but uh, Katie Zellum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this kind of takes me by surprise because obviously I've always respected the player that Katie Zellum is and I feel like some midfielders, especially when you're the captain as well, you become the unsung hero because she yeah. just does her job and she does it well. She, I feel like she's the orchestra in that Manchester midfield. And yeah, as well, everything, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. Most chances created, yeah. a WSL player, most tackles. Most tackles as well, yeah. And I feel like because she doesn't get the headlines of, you know, scoring the goals or... Um, it's mainly the goal scorers that get the headlines. Yeah. I feel like that's why... This may be a shock to a lot of people, yeah. maybe me, but I feel like she deserves it so much. Yeah, yeah. So good for set pieces. As one well. goal, five assists, yeah. but it's, it's all the other part of the game, as you said, most chances created, um, do it most tackles as well. Yeah, um, captain as well, you yeah. Know, I think I think that goes under the radar. You know, I feel like Manchester United in general, like across both sides of the coin, men and women, it's like it? it's very turbulent because yeah. you're the biggest club in the world and you're yeah. gonna get a lot of heat for that if you know things aren't going right. And I think, you know, she's she's been a good captain. I am I'm surprised to see her on it because of you think of all the other players that mm. are in that list but it's because of the positioning. Yeah. Um, but also she's she's super young and I, I feel like maybe she's been dealt a ha a, like a bit of a bad hand internationally, not being yeah. selected as much mm. recently. So credit to her for making the team. 
But as for Lauren Hem, I mean, no surprise there at all. Nine <laughs> goals, six assists, most open play assists in WSL, more carry distance than, with the ball than any WSL player. Nailed on, right? Yeah, Nailed it's just on. what you expect. She's been on a career trajectory. She's been one, like, a few years ago, young player of the season mm. on, on, a, on a number of occasions. And then she's... Now, she should be contender for player of the season mm. because yeah. now... She's not that young anymore, but still very young. <laughs> still very young, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's get the forwards up then, because there's quite a lot of forwards. Lot. Yeah, you're going to go play with the, mag the magnet okay. placement. Uh, right, I'll do a couple on this side. Tough. Chloe, Chloe Kelly. Kelly. The hero that is. Do you know what? She's, Lauren James. She's such a clutch player, Chloe mm. Kelly. Like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, five goals, sure. no, five goals, four assists. Yeah. Chloe. Lauren James, just another season. Yeah. She's so naturally gifted. Lauren James, isn't she? So, so intelligent. Talented. Yeah. yeah. So a natural goal scorer, physical ability. Bunny I mean, Shaw, same, different. isn't it, out for Bunny the season? Bunny Shaw, incredible yeah. season she's having. I feel like this is the season where she's really making her mark. In previous seasons, we know she's been an out-and-out -out goal scorer, but I feel like she's just been unstoppable this season, Bunny mm. Shaw. Um, Alessia Russo, a new team, coming into a new team and still getting the plaudits and still doing the job that she's known to do and get the goals. She's and big expectations top goal as well, you know, record feeling that she's gone Yeah. yeah. And she's coming in, she's, I, for me, she's fitted in perfectly to... Yeah, more goal involvement than any other Arsenal player. Yeah. So, like, she there was question marks, wasn't there, about living up to that fee. Yeah. I think for uh, Arsenal, doing well. she's more than done that. Nine yeah. goals, eight assists. Yeah, I mean... Very good return. Uh, so good. I mean, she's, um, she was definitely worth the money, worth the move. Yeah. What do you think me... about Sam Kerr's inclusion? Only eight appearances. <laughs> I know, is it, is it a surprise? That's, that's interesting for me that she's there. I mean, look, we all know what an incredible player she is. She's yeah. been out with an ACL, that's not, that's yeah. not her fault. Yeah. Um, I just am... Um, intrigued as to why she's been included because yeah. that must be more of a historical thing rather yeah. than... Legacy reputation. Yeah. Or maybe it's it's like carrying on from a bit of last season, possibly. Yeah, or... maybe they've been a bit lenient with yeah. that. In terms of the goals to game, though, for balance, uh, four yeah. goals, four assists in eight appearances. She's averaged a goal or assist every 84 minutes. So, she's when she has she's, played... She's, she's an amazing player and there is absolutely no doubt about that. But I think if we're looking at the options and the candidates mm. and who's obviously played minutes the most and... Mm. Maybe she she wouldn't have been my my pick. Top yeah. Look, top, top, for me top, this top. season, for me it's Bunny Shaw, Lauren James, yeah. Alessia Russo. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Let's Couldn't talk be. about Lauren James. I mean, 15 appearances, 13 goals, two assists. I mean, just a phenomenal player. How how high do you feel Lauren James's ceiling is? Because we've yeah. seen what she's yeah. done on the international stage, but how how good a player are we talking about here? I mean, every time I watch her play, I could be wrong here, but she seems like she's not even into second or third gear. Yeah. Mm, she's yeah. very calm on the ball, yeah. and it looks like. I hate to say the word not trying because of course she's like trying. She's jogging. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's like, it's just so effortless. Yeah. And it's like, could you do more? And if you could do more, that's very scary. But I, I feel like crazy that's, numbers. that's her style of play. Yeah. Like, that, that is who she is. But she's so effective in games, whether that is for Chelsea, international. I feel, you know, we talk about like bigger signings and stuff. And obviously the women's game is going from strength to strength and growing. I feel like she's going to end up being the record signing and going abroad. Like, she could be the first million pound player for me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, phenomenal player. The, the quality of the goals that she scored as well, and the goal that she scored in the World Cup, the the, te the, the range of goals that she has at her disposal. Technical ability. Oh, well. incredible. I have to touch on Melvin Mallard, though, because all these players here played WSL um, football in previous seasons. Melvin Mallard coming from a giant club in Lyon, yeah. um, doing really well at Lyon and coming into the WSL, I th even though she hasn't got the massive numbers. Mm. Uh, is it five Still goals? Still five goals. Five, yeah. 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 I feel like for a first season in Tough a WSL... Transition. I mean, I you know, like you said, well. there's been yeah. a bit of turbulence that, there, hasn't yeah. there, behind the scenes. Do you know what? There's just one person I wanted to shout out, which is Grace Clinton. But yeah. Okay. Obviously, she was at United. She's on loan, been on loan at Spurs. Um, she's been amazing. She's been amazing. And, like, I feel like it's a bit weird that United let her mm. let go on that loan because she's been mm. so integral to Spurs and mm. maybe United could have done with her. Mm. Um, and, obviously, also, like, she's a big reason why Spurs are, are in a mm. cup final. So, yeah. got to give her some credit. Likely, man. Shout out Elizabeth Turland as well. Brighton, eight. Third high score in the WSL. 12 goals, one assist. Um, OK, just quickly, who would be your player of the season? Oh, out of everyone here. Yeah. Hard pick. Very hard pick. Oh, gosh. Uh, I can't <laughs> pick. Um, I'm going to go Bunny Shaw. I was going to go the same. OK, okay. Bunny Shaw. So that's there we have really it. That's don't lie. Mm, yeah. WSL team of the season mm. revealed. Hemp, hemp, hemp second, though, for me, maybe. Oh, OK, hemp second. There we go. <laughs> Final confirmation of it. Don't forget, the team of the season will be uh, out until June the 7th, checking game each week as well to see the current releases.